So with today's inflation data, just inflation strikes again. Not only is inflation up, it is rising and rising faster. Inflation in Canada, after eight years of Justin Trudeau, is not only high, but it is broad. It is across all different products and services. Whether you include or exclude food and gas, inflation is now double its target. Two months ago, Christia Freeland declared victory against inflation and asked everyone to give her a pat on the back. Since that time, the inflation rate has risen 43%. It is interesting that the further and further we move away from COVID, the more and more inflation is rising, which continues to prove what I said all along, which is that COVID had nothing to do with inflation. It is entirely a made in Canada, made by a government made inflation that is the result of deficits and taxes on Canadians. And it's no longer just me saying it. Everyone has slowly but grudgingly come on to my point of view. The Governor of the Bank of Canada has said that the deficits are driving inflation. The former Liberal Finance Minister John Manley says deficits are driving inflation. Even Christia Freeland said that deficits pour fuel on the inflationary fire right before she decided to pour $60 billion of that fuel on that fire. So th this is a more proof that Justin Trudeau is not worth the cost. But neither is Jagmeet Singh. And this is, I'd like to take a moment to talk about greed and price gouging. The greed and price, price gouging of the Liberal NDP government, which takes more and more money from hardworking Canadians and raises the cost of government, which raises the cost of everything. After eight years of Trudeau and the NDP, everything costs more. Work doesn't pay. Housing costs have doubled. And it gets worse every single day. What is most terrifying is that the inflation Trudeau has ballooned will, will put further pressure on the Bank of Canada to increase rates further at a time when Canadians are the most indebted people in the entire G7. What are people going to do? How are they going to pay their mortgages if Trudeau's inflation forces the bank to raise rates yet again? We can't afford that. And that's why we need to replace this costly coalition that takes your money, taxes your food, and doubles your housing costs with a common sense conservative government that frees people to earn powerful paychecks that buy affordable food, gas, and homes in safe neighborhoods. We will do it with a common sense plan that includes axing the NDP liberal carbon tax, capping spending and cutting waste to eliminate the inflationary deficits, and incentivizing municipalities to remove bureaucracy that we can, so that we can build, build, build homes that Canadians can afford. Thank you very much.